there and welcome to a very special edition of Coshocton Conversations. We're doing this for the Ohio's Heart website. My name is Kirby Hosman. I'm your host today. And we're going to be doing this special series in Coshocton Conversations where we get to know the new mayoral candidates. So Mark Mills is joining me. Thanks, hey, Mark. How you doing, Kirby? I'm doing well, buddy. Thanks for doing I'm this. I'm glad they powdered my head. <laughs> yeah. The glare wouldn't be The that makeup bad, team right? is powerful. They're, I mean, amazing. <laughs> amazing, right? right? Who needs filters? <laughs> yeah, that's right. right. So I want to jump right in here and let's start sort of from the beginning, that 10,000 foot view. Why? Why are you deciding to run for mayor? Uh, I get, actually, I get that question all the time. I just really feel like I don't like where we're at as a city right now. Okay. I think we are way better. And I'm not talking about the current administration. Uh, I'm talking about the last 40 years. Okay. You know, what the, the population's been stale. Uh, we haven't improved. Uh, you know, we haven't went anywhere. We've lost more than what we've gained. Okay. okay. And so you want to do something about that. That's why. Right. Okay. Right. So let's start with a positive. You know me, I'm a glasses half full guy. So what are some things you think are going well in the community? Uh, I think we have a lot of organizations who are working on, you know, positivity, uh, making our community a better, better place to live, whether it be the well-being of the citizens or just general cleanup and helping, you know, helping each other out. Okay. So that's, those are some of the goods. Okay, so what are some things you'd like to see us change? Uh, a lot of things. I think uh, better communications with the residents. Uh, you know, really go viral with council meetings, have them online, have a bigger Twitter presence, a better Facebook presence, uh, YouTube, uh, Instagram, so we can communicate the way people are communicating now. It's fair. It's fair. Uh, I think we, you know, you've started with Main Street. I think, you know, Jason Thompson, Carla Thompson has started with Main Street. I think there is more, you know, to come on Main Street. There are more programs. I was actually talking with the state rep uh, a couple weeks ago about a different program that maybe we could bring in. Uh, you know, I think that we're working hard but I think a lot of times that everyone's working in different directions. Okay. So I really, you know, think that we could pull that together more and have more of a, a vision. Uh, you know, progress is not only doing something, but headed towards a destination. So I think we need to head towards the destination and every one of our groups that is making a positive impact needs to really know where we're going. So maybe, you know, there's not duplication or we could fill a need in another area. And the, the technology thing with me, you know, even online bill pay, uh, just working better with social media uh, and just really hammering it down to make it accessible for everyone who maybe you know, wouldn't want to show up to a council meeting or wouldn't want to, you know, there's a lot of people who don't want to put themselves out there like that. So that's really what I see. Uh, and the last thing really, uh, the change, the drug ep epidemic, I really uh, see a need for change. You know, it, it, everyone wants to say it's here. I'm all over Southeastern Ohio for work and it's everywhere. Sure. Southeastern Ohio, every part of Ohio. But, you know, to me, we can sit around and talk about it or we can figure out a way to combat it and to fix it and to accomplish something. Okay, so I'm gonna go off script for a second. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, good. So the drug epidemic is something we hear about all the time. Right. And so, so do you have ideas on what that might look like? You said something to tackle it, what well, would that be? You know, I think uh, once again, technology with our law enforcement, you know, I've heard people say, we need to create a police department here. We have the need for it. We really, you know, treatment. I think a lot of people are working together now once again on it, but I think we need creative options that, you know, 
really make an impact. And I really look at uh, the use of cameras, you know, something 21st century policing, you know, I have a degree in criminal justice, so I almost know what I'm talking about <laughs> when it comes to criminal justice. But I, I think there's different options. I think the, the whole theory of this is a way that we've always done it and you know this is a way it has to be doesn't have to be that way anymore so next up what are some projects um, that you'd like to see the city of Kashakin tackle uh, I think a lot of infrastructure problems issues uh, I think we built neighborhoods in the 50s and 60s even into the 70s and for some reason we did them on a handshake instead of you know, you need to put sidewalks in, you need to put curbs in, we need proper drainage. I think road deterioration has, you know, resulted from uh, just overall poor planning and the, and the way we set our city up. Also, water lines, you know, are 100 years old. We have issues with, with leaking water lines. We have, you know, cones and barrels everywhere. And, you know, I think if we set up a program, I was just talking to someone today, if we set up a program where, you know, a lot of people run a program, a basketball team, here's what we do, let's go do it. If it's not working, let's change our, our path and let's fix, let's not let history repeat itself, let's fix history and, and move forward. So that's the infrastructure bit, uh, technology, really once again is, is huge with me uh, the there's a lot of things that we could do at little little or no cost uh, like what just I mean with social media mm -hmm. there, there's a lot social media wise that we could set up uh, we could set up a better web page it, it definitely needs updated uh, maybe more organizations more interactive there's uh, programs where I had a buddy of mine just recently tell me drew, drove through Toledo and his phone dinged and it said hey look at all, what all your friends enjoyed in this area so I mean that's that's one idea there there's a million ideas mm -hmm. you know I could go we could sit and talk for hours on, sure. on ideas so you talked infrastructure and you talked about technology when I hear both of those things I hear money so, right. how do you fund it? Well, I think, you know, I'm not a big tax guy, mm -hmm. and I hear it all the time that people say, we pay so much in taxes, you know, and I'm not, I'm not for raising taxes. Uh, I really think that we could search out grant funding. I think we could get better at that, focus on that. We have a county who half the residents live under the poverty level. So I would say that there are a lot of dollars waiting on us if we go seek those dollars out. Also, you know, at some point we could do bonds for major projects. They'd have to be voted on once again. I think if people see where their money's going, I think they're not as afraid to pay more money. And I really think, you know, if you show someone you get what you pay for, I believe that they would, you know, ultimately say, okay, well, I agree. But the the thing with the money is, once again, I'm an accounting major, so I've been running a business for 25 years. I run a multi-million dollar business now, so we work on margins. and. The, government people say business is not the same as government if it doesn't make dollars it doesn't make sense you know there's money it, it, at the end of the day it comes down to what's important to people and that's where I would love for people to get involved and have a stake in the government and right now I think where we're at is it's uh, unapproachability or it's just the standoffishness against government and what's the government gonna you know people ask me all the time well, what are you gonna do for me well ultimately what do you want me to do for you you know that's it's kind of in reverse now and I think 
that I'm an approachable guy that, you know, is pretty no nonsense and really, you know, that's where I want people to open up and, and say, hey, here's my idea. And everyone get together. We have a lot of people who are very educated, are very well off, are very, you know, in business, business leaders, but we also have people who aren't, but they still have great ideas. And that's what I bring to the table are the people who at some point didn't think that they had a voice. I think once I'm elected, they will have a voice. Okay. All right, so let's look into the crystal ball, right? Okay. Okay. Look to the future. Where do you see Coshocton in four years? I see a really better infrastructure comprehensive a comprehensive ongoing maintenance strategy on how to improve the issues instead of putting a cone or a barrel on it we have priorities uh, i think we could have an app we, i think you know once again that's where technology ties into the whole city and, and where we're going and direction uh, staffing wise you know we don't have people who just show up for work they know exactly where they need to be they know what they need to be doing and really no like surprises you know it, once again it's run the program and if the program's not working let's figure out you know ways to improve the program you know listening to our employees listening to our residents and, and make it cohesive to where we're moving in, in a forward direction. Uh, I think, once again, the bill pay online. Uh, the biggest thing I think is all the residents at any moment will be able to contact me or walk into my office with, with an idea, with a complaint. I know, you know, we're in a society where people would rather complain than to come up with the solution to the problem. And, and that's where I deal with many people in many different socioeconomic brackets. And I am not a bit, that's one of the reasons why I'm running for mayor because I can sit and complain about it or I can do something. So I'm, I'm that doer. So, you know, Main Street's a big, big thing in my crystal ball. We need, we definitely need an anchor downtown where people are moving. You know, I think ITM's a good start. I think there's a lot of property downtown that has any, any use that anyone could come up with. I, I want to make opportunity for people so really you know, see where we can pull money to help. If you want to buy three blocks, like let's see how we can help you do that and create the opportunity for you to do whatever you want to do. Uh, and the biggest thing that I see also is population growth. I know right now we're in a, the housing market's actually in a crunch right now. so. I, you know, momentum going into this is, is good. Uh, I would love to see new houses built. I would love to see new neighborhoods. Uh, not only to improve what we have, but to build new houses. I, I just talked to a real estate agent last week and she said it's hot. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of, it's hot, so let's keep it hot. Yeah. Final question. Um, so what are some final thoughts that, you know, you've been gracious with your time in answering these questions. I appreciate that. So what are some final thoughts you want to leave voters with? I, you know, I really think we're at a, at a turning point, uh, not only as a community, but I think we're at a turning point with society and uh, definitely with technology and our generation taking over and new ideas, fresh ideas, not, you know, following the status quo, uh, you know, bringing to the table as far as myself with an education and experience and just overall working with people to make this a community that people want to say, I love it. 
we went there, you know. Word, you're a marketing guy. Word of mouth is the best marketing that we have. So I really believe that it's just time. It's, it's time. We've waited 40 years, and I really think that this is a turning point in our community. And I really think that there's not a lot of money in spending and creating a mindset where people want to be proud of where they're at and clean up their space and talk to their neighbors and help their neighbors and really make it a, a place where more people want to relocate. And, and really, I believe that I have the energy, I have hopefully another 50 years to see this through, but you know, I, uh, I really appreciate the support that I've gotten, whether it be outright support, whether it be, well, you know, it's just, it's been overwhelming. And, and that for me, people want something to happen. And we have waited long enough. So that's what I bring to the table. I'm completely accessible. Uh, MarkMillsForMayor.com. I'm on Facebook. If you have questions, reach out. My phone number is on my Facebook page. Send me a messenger message. Send me an email. Send me whatever. I'm definitely, if I don't get to you, this is going to be a crazy two months. And, and I really look forward to leading our community into the next generation. Cool. Well, thanks for taking the time. I do appreciate it. I know, you know, try to you are busy, and so I do appreciate you taking the time, okay? I appreciate it. All right. Thank Thanks. you. That is going to wrap up this edition of Coshocton Conversations. We'll see you next time.